We moved to Park Slope, Brooklyn a year and a half ago, and a question I get all the time is, do we regret it? Do we miss living in Manhattan? Well, the answer is a little complicated. Do you miss Manhattan? No, <laughs> I don't. It doesn't mean I don't like it though, but I don't miss it like to live there. No, really. I think the life here is a little bit more peaceful. Not a lot, of course. Enough for me to be feel more relaxed, but I still have the city vibe and the things I like around me. I have to admit that never gets old in here. And in our last apartment, we couldn't even fit a reclining couch into that tiny room that we called a living room. I don't know how I lived nine years without a view of the outside world. And it's a great challenge and a great thing to do once in your life to live in a super central location in lower Manhattan, but I don't ever want to do it again. I love my couch. I love my real living room. You can get a real living room in Manhattan though. How much? It's a good question. Sixty seven degrees, mid March. Park slope is hopping. California, 625 for a gallon of gas. New York, 625 for a scoop of ice cream. I remember in Manhattan when I would go out, it would be all young people, all the restaurants, all the bars, at least in Greenwich Village. Here in Park Slope, it's like families everywhere, strollers, just a completely different vibe than I was used to when I was living in downtown Manhattan. Why do you like Park Slope? Because people are more chill here, I think. When I go out, I don't feel like I have to run because someone's behind me trying to pass me. I can enjoy the nice weather, walk on the streets. No one is in a rush. I'm in a rush. <laughs> You're always in a rush. Like, what would you say would be the biggest thing you miss? Maybe having a lot of options to eat 24 hours sometimes. If I feel hungry, I don't know, like midnight, the options were like big. And here, I think they're more limited. The point I wanted to bring up too is that I, I do miss some of the food choices in Manhattan. Late night around here, it's like mostly delis or McDonald's, fast food stuff. You know, I lived a few blocks from one of the best streets in the world for late night eating, McDougal in the village. Oh my God, corgis. I do miss my favorite pizza spots, halal. Still have a lot more exploring to do in Brooklyn, not gonna lie, a lot more exploring we have to do. So the food is a big thing that I miss from my nine years in the village. From the perspective of someone that travels around New York all the time, I really miss being central to everything in Manhattan. That was so nice for me that I could hop to Queens in 30 minutes. I just filmed in Flushing and the commute was over an hour from Brooklyn. Brooklyn to Queens can be an extremely long commute. I miss the centrality of being in Manhattan. That might be the biggest thing, actually. You wanna move here? This block? Oh, uh, yeah, I love Six Ave. It's really nice and quiet. Beautiful brownstones. That's why we moved to Park Slope, isn't it? In Brooklyn for the brownstones. I know I'm a boring married guy at this point, but I kind of do miss the nightlife of Manhattan, especially where I used to live. I could walk to hundreds of bars and then stumble home after. This area of Brooklyn's really lacking in that regard. I know there's Bushwick, I know there's Williamsburg, if you want that nightlife fix, but in general, Manhattan is just a much bigger party than Brooklyn's ever gonna be. These are fake, these have gotta be fake. Eat it. Very fake. I think if you if you actually grew apples out here, they might get stolen. I don't know. The, who the apples belong to? Like the one who put the tree there or the street? Does it feel like home yet? Oh, uh, I think it feels more home than I ever felt home in Manhattan. I don't know how to express that. I don't think I ever felt home in Manhattan. And here, after one and a half year, I feel home. I got a lot of flack from some of you out there when I said that Brooklyn has more of a neighborhood vibe because it's true that Uptown Manhattan does have some neighborhoods that do have that feel and now a lot of what I said was more about, I don't know, below 42nd Street or below 59th Street, but certainly there is that neighborhood element to this part of Brooklyn. You know, people sitting outside, long time residents, you don't feel that 
transplant situation where everyone's just moving there to try to get ahead and then move on or tourists I don't I don't see I don't see tourists outside here I, I remember going outside my apartment on Sullivan Street and I used to see tourists just taking photos of our block because it looked right at the Empire State Building don't see much of that here which is nice I love you guys a tourist but I don't need to live around where all the tourists hang out what are your names I'm Dan John nice to meet, nice to meet you. you John Anna nice to meet you Anna Definitely a different vibe than the city. I enjoy going into Manhattan to get like the energy, but I enjoy coming back to Fort Greene. It's like nice and peaceful. And... Exactly what we were just saying, right? Yeah, right. The same thing. So true. I said all I hear around here are strollers, bikes, or scooters. The yep. sound of little wheels. That's the sound of a uh, brownstone Brooklyn. Definitely. <laughs> a lot of kids. Look at the size of these donuts. <laughs> Very simple, but it's my favorite donut. Cinnamon sugar? Yes. Uh, everybody knows what they like. When I go to the pastry shop, if they have anything apple, uh, I'm, I'm getting that, like 100%. So it's like if you like the cinnamon sugar, you know, like that's a go to. I got you. I always have a go to as well. If like the flavor you said is that, if that's yeah. your go to, yeah. I'm mad we don't have it right now because it's another rotating flavor, but I would have suggested the Boston cream for you. Boston cream, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. You know, you guys are getting three. I'll give you the fourth one for free, all right? Thank you so much. I'm going to get a shot of this in my video. No, no, you don't even need to explain anything. Are you good? This isn't going to make it home. It's not about it. No, no way. Thank you so much for everything. Thanks a lot. You think the customer service is better in Brooklyn? Yes, but I don't blame people in Manhattan because I think people in Manhattan have to deal with a lot of tourists, way more people every day. I don't blame them for being a little bit grumpy sometimes, so I think they are still nice. Nutella is baked into here, even for five bucks. Epic donut, epic. Best Look, part- she's running, you're eating a donut. Best part about being an adult is that you can ruin your dinner and no one can tell you otherwise. Except maybe your wife, but it's too late. Do I regret leaving Manhattan? No, because I think in that period of my life, it was a perfect spot. And even being here for a year and a half, I don't regret the decision for a split second. But there are things that I miss. If you're at all planning on visiting New York this year, you've got to watch this video where we talk about a lot of common mistakes that you want to avoid. You'll like it a lot, trust me.